Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and we've been asked to simplify each of the following. Now, uh, simplify basically just means perform the indicated operation, but students looking at uh, problems like this might not be sure what the indicated operation is, so let's take a look. A, now I see this negative sign outside of the parentheses with eight. Now all I'm doing there when I do something like that is I'm doing what's called negating. Um, another way to think of it is when the only thing you're doing to a number is turning it into a negative, you're taking the opposite. So I'll often read this as the opposite. So I say it's like negate eight. It's like saying what is the opposite of eight? Well, of course the opposite of eight is just negative eight. And it's like those parentheses didn't matter at all. And in fact, they really didn't. They weren't necessary. They just got dropped. So the opposite of 8, or if you negate 8, you get negative 8. So let's take a look at B then. Um, B, a lot of students will freak out. But look at what this one says. This one says the opposite of negative 8. Well, let's think about that. We know that the opposite of black is white, but you can also turn that around and go the, uh, you know, the other direction. If the opposite of black is white, then the opposite of white is black. So on A, we had said that the opposite of positive 8 was negative 8, so then the opposite of negative 8 must be positive 8. And we see that beautiful principle that those two negatives in a row basically cancel each other out. The opposite of a negative is a positive. Make a little note to yourself in your notes, because this explains a lot of what we do with negative numbers. The opposite of a negative is a positive. Okay, so then let's take a look at this one. Um, so the basic, don't know what I did there. Okay, so the basic idea here is it looks really scary and students will start freaking out seeing all these negative signs, but let's back it up to just this part. We already know that the opposite of negative eight is positive eight. So this here would have given me a positive eight, but I still have this one negative on the outside. And so I do end up with negative eight. And so the general principle I want you to walk away with is that no matter how many negatives I have, Two of them will cancel. So like these two will cancel each other out. These two will cancel each other out. But if you have one left over, like I do in this instance, you're going to end up with a negative answer. All right, so where was I? C is then negative 8, yes. Now let's look at D. I want the opposite of negative 5 tenths. Now don't be panicked just because it's a decimal. We're going to see the exact same principle. The opposite of a negative is going to be a positive. And so I get positive 5 tenths. And again, don't get panicked by a fraction either. What is the opposite of 3 fourths? Well, it's just negative 3 fourths. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.